Hello, this is Sue Ann Brighton, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Peon20. Today I'm going to walk you through how to run a one-off data import, and as part of that I'm going to also show you the CSV file that we're going to be working with and talk about a couple of important things that you want to keep in mind prior to trying to do your import otherwise you'll have some errors. So let's get started by looking at our CSV file. And in this file you will note that our very last column here has uh, several different um, fields, rows, that don't have data in them. And that will definitely cause errors when you're trying to import into ShareWell. So what we'll do is take our last two columns here and we will move them over so that we actually have a column at the end that is full of data in every single cell. Uh, another issue that you may have, and I've already fixed here, is a lot of times people will have uh, line breaks in their data. So let's just say we got data from somebody and they put a bunch of returns into it. And you may not know where those are within your data file or your data file may, may be very large and you want to do a quick fix to get rid of all of those uh, line breaks and replace them with something else. And what we will do to fix this is we'll do a replace on here and you're going to hold down control and hit J. You can possibly see right here it looks like a tiny little period. Uh, that is actually the line break and in this case we're going to replace all line breaks with a comma and a space. So we'll just replace all there and we will save our CSV file. And one last thing that you want to make sure that you do before trying to start your import is to close your CSV file. If you don't close your CSV file then you will get an error right when you go to select that file when doing the import. So now we're back in our admin client. We select run a one-off data import CSV. We will browse and find our file that we have. And we select our primary business object. In this case it's config computer. And our next screen is to map our data fields, so the column that comes from the Excel spreadsheet and we're going to map it to the fields that we have within ShareWell. Sometimes it will uh, find the correct names of the fields, other times you'll see something like a map field is none and you just need to go in and either decide that you're not going to import the column, let's say the column doesn't exist in Excel, or excuse me, in ShareWell, or you're going to import that into a different field. For us this field will be the IPv4 and we'll select our manufacturer and one more down here is our serial number. So once we have everything mapped we'll select next. You can add additional values to your import as well. Because we have a counter for our asset tag and I don't have an asset tag within my data file, I'm actually going to add that here. And what I do is I select the field that I want to populate. In this case it'll be asset tag. And I'm going to do an expression. And that expression will be a counter expression and we already have an asset tag counter within the system so we'll select that. And then we'll select next. We have a couple of options here where we can ignore duplicate records in the import file or we can record duplicate excuse me 
we can ignore duplicate records uh, that match what's coming from the import file into ShareWell. I don't have any data right now, so I'm just going to select Next on this. And again, we can delete existing data from Config Computer, but as I mentioned, I don't have any data in there. And in some cases, you may be doing a one-off import periodically and don't want to delete the data that was there before, in which case you would probably want to make sure that you ignore or skip duplicate records or update your duplicate records. So now we're on our final page. We can save this as a stored import, which is really nice for the future, especially if you had a lot of mapping to do at the very beginning. So I'll just call this computer CI import. And I'm going to test my import. And that tested successfully. So we'll close it and, and now we have to, the last step, we need to make sure that we select the actual import button. And it looks like I have this already, so I'll rename that. Select the import button to actually make the import happen. So we'll close that. And then come over to our desktop client and into our CMDB and config computer and we have as you can see 35 records if we go back into our csv file we have 35 records thank you for watching i hope you found this useful if you'd like to watch additional videos for more tips and tricks please subscribe to our youtube channel beyond 20 llc Thank you.